cultivator processor in Washington State, which is over here on this particular screen. That company dominates the state in every category that you can dominate. It's got the most employees, the most revenue, the most products, the most SKUs, the most square feet, the most of everything. It is a phenomenal operation. We are a company about operations. Um, the guys who founded this company, the family that founded this company prior to this company, they founded a company called Direct Source Seafoods, which is the uh, largest specialized seafood company in North America. My background is specialized manufacturing of components for military aerospace. So we're really about operations, we're about the numbers, we're about, about making things work. How do I change the uh, page on this? <laughs> So super quickly, just taking, taking a look at our business over, what have we got? Well, we are an existing company with existing revenues. We've got strong cash flow. We've got a phenomenal pipeline of opportunity. Many in this room have heard of Jetty Extracts, which is the company that we've contracted to acquire in California. Uh, that should be done in the next two or three weeks. Uh, we're very much looking forward to those guys. They are, like us, focused on really the extraction, the manufacturing, and the distribution of premium brands at scale. You'll see that we do have cultivation in our facility in Washington, but it's really what we call boutique or, or curated cultivation. You're never going to see us running a 500,000 square foot or a million square foot greenhouse. That's going to be a commoditized business. Uh, we're the growing cannabis for the same people who pay $12 a pound for tomatoes or buy a $100 bottle of wine. This is the best of the best. We take our trim and we run that through our extraction, but actually we purchase more product in Washington and we grow and we run that through our extractions as well. And I hate to tell people in this room how much we're paying for trim, but it's as low as 15 cents a, a gram. So really, we're buying it for less than we could grow it. Um, in California, the company Jetty does not have any, uh, any cultivation to speak of. They've got phenomenal relationships with people in Nevada County, Mendoza County, all over the state. Uh, we don't feel there's any need at this point in time to be entering into the cultivation space. So. I'm really trying to rush through this here as quickly as I can because I've only got five minutes here. But again, what's our strategy and our focus? Our focus is to build up a consolidated portfolio of high quality operating assets focused on manufacturing, extraction, premium brands being distributed at scale. That's our business. We want to be a national, coast to coast, distributor, manufacturer, brand. So the opportunity with Washington and California, for example, which will be beginning any day now, is to take the Washington Jetty brands, bring them into California, license them for distribution in Washington, or to so bring them into California, bring them into Washington. Take our Washington brands, bring them into California for distribution into, into the California distribution. And ultimately, as we move into additional states, I've said publicly, and it says in this presentation, that we want to be in two more states by the end of this calendar year. But ultimately, it's a state-by-state -state incremental uh, growth based on operating excellence. So here's the team, myself, I've got a background in public venture capital. I said my last company, I started in 07 with a specialized military aerospace components manufacturing company based in Boston. Leo on the page here, his family are the ones who started Direct Source Seafood, which does hundreds of millions of dollars in revenues. I'm sure you've eaten some of their craft legs. Um, Jerry Darabiani was a childhood friend of Leo's. He was a lawyer at Kay Scholler in New York got persuaded to come back to, bank, to uh, Seattle to be employee number one. So we've got a very strong, very strong team. Um, again, I've already touched on this, the acquisition of, uh, of the company called Brightleaf, which owns all of the assets of the largest company in Washington State. Um, you know, last year they did 8,000K of production, this year 1,600, 16,000, I mean, last year the revenues were 27 million, there'll be more this year. So it is a pretty significant operation. Brightleaf assets are the brands primarily. We do talk a lot about our facilities, but really it's all about what's on this page. It's about brands. And we hear about brands, 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 brands all day long. And a lot of people, when they talk about brands, what they mean is, you know, a cute logo, you know, a pretty box. But what we, what we mean when we talk about brands is what goes on behind that brand. The operations, the logistics, the distribution, so that when you walk into the store to get whatever it is that you want, it's there the next day as well, and it tastes the same as it did the day before. You know, I always say that I'm a real coffee lover, but I still go to Starbucks once a day, usually around 7 in the morning, because I know exactly what I'm going to get, whether I'm here or in Paris or no matter where. 
So the promise of the brands is the ability to deliver consistently, and that's what our objective is going to be with the company in Washington, the company in California, Jetty, and others to deliver premium brands consistently at scale across the country internationally. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> that was, that was uh, 15 minutes and four. We have a table up there by the window.